Hi, it's Pamela. In this video, we're going to go on a walkthrough of the brand new features in Doodly 2.8.0. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The Doodly team has been busy cooking up some great new features and improvements for you all. Doodly version 2.8.0 includes some new features like the ability to align assets and lock them in place, an asset erase delay to ensure that your animations look smooth and professional, the ability to change the delay and duration time of multiple assets at once, and more. We're excited to see what you create with these new tools at your disposal. First up, the update mechanism for this particular version has changed. You will need to download the update and install it manually. This takes only a few minutes and it's super easy to do. Rest assured, all of your projects and settings will be preserved. And in the future, Doodly will resume the auto updates that you're accustomed to. Next, we have a brand new feature called Alignment of Assets, which allows you to align an item from the Assets Context menu. This is great for making sure that everything's aligned perfectly with each other in the scene. One or more assets can be aligned to the left, center, right, top, middle, and bottom of the scene, as well as they can be distributed horizontally and vertically, similar to what you can do in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's take a quick look. I've got these cute little guys here. And if you notice, if you right click, you now have an align tool in the context menu and you can do different things. So let me align him right now. He's off to the left. Let's go to the center. Now he's to the center. Right click, go to align, go to the right. Click the line. I can do him in the middle. So now he's in the middle uh, vertically here. I can do him in the bottom. So he's going to go down. See? I can put him back up at the very top. Back over to the left. I think you get the idea. Now, what about aligning multiple assets? Well, you can select them. So let's go ahead and control click. And let's say I want them all on the bottom. So align, align bottom. So now they're all. Okay, I think you get the idea. This You'll need to play around a little bit to get a feel for what's what. So see how they're all now in the center because I click Align Center, and then same with left. And they do overlap when you do it this way. But if you go down here, we're currently in Align to Scene. What happens if you do Align Selected Assets? Well, let's try it. Let's bring them out here, okay? Spread them out a little. So now they can be aligned with in this little bounding box of themselves, okay? When we're when we're set to align selected assets. So if I do center, they're all within their the, their own little thing. They're not in the center of the scene, okay? If I wanted them in the center of the scene, I'd do align to scene. But right now I want them within each other. So let's make them left. of the scene to see how they all rose up together to the top of the scene. Let's go back to the line to scene and the center. And let's distribute them horizontally. Okay. So play with that. You'll get a feel for it. And I think you're really going to like it. You can now lock assets in place, which can be really helpful when you have a bunch of items kind of stacked on top of each other. In the past, it was kind of difficult to select the exact asset that you wanted. If you accidentally, so say you wanted to, to deal with him, but somehow you accidentally got the chair moved and you think you're moving the guy, but then next thing you know, you're moving the chair and it could get, it could get a little frustrating sometimes. So what we want to do now is lock our character in place. So let's say, we're happy with the chair here. So we're gonna right click on the chair and choose lock. And now it's locked. So I can move my guy, I can do whatever I want. I might accidentally click this, but I'm not gonna be able to accidentally 
move it, okay? So see, it's not moving anywhere. So now I can just work with my guy. I can make him bigger without accidentally selecting the chair and just fine tune it. Here's another cool feature that I really like, the asset erase delay. In the past, if you set an item to erase, what Doodly would do is Doodly would draw the item and then it would erase it right away. And that wasn't necessarily what you wanted, right? You would like it to stay on for a few seconds so people could enjoy it and then maybe you're talking about it and then you want it to erase at a certain point. Well, now you can tell Doodly exactly how to do that without having to do the big workaround of duplicating the scene and all of that. So here's what you do. You go ahead and click the gear icon, just like you normally would. You would set your erase and you would give it a delay. So now let's say we want a two second, uh, let's just go for five seconds. We want a five second delay before it erases. And what Doodly will do is draw our scene. Here's our guy, we're gonna have a beach scene come on. And then our seashells are gonna come on. And then in five seconds, they'll erase. In the past, they would have erased, they'd be gone by now already. So there we go, five seconds. And that is a wonderful improvement. Here's another new feature that I really, really, really like. You can now change the delay and duration of multiple assets at one time. Here you see I've got some assets and they're all at the default, three seconds. They all draw on for three seconds. Well, in my opinion, that's gonna to be too long for this particular scene. So I want them all to draw on for two seconds each. Now, in the past, I'd go over here and I would change this one to two seconds in this one to two seconds and so on and so forth okay i'm just gonna go ahead and undo that so we're back to three and truly it's not a big deal when you only have you know two or three to deal with but sometimes you have 10 or more right and it's a lot easier to do it the new way so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hit my command or control button and click each of those so they're all selected now, if I go over here to my little gear icon, I can do it right here by changing it to two and click apply and say, yes, I wanna do that. And they've all changed. You can do the same with delay. And let's say I want a one second delay between each of my assets. So I would do the same thing. I could go to the gear icon and do it that way. Or if I right click over here, we have a new settings tool and that'll get us to the same spot. And now I want my delay right here. I'm going to say, what did I say? Two seconds? I might have said one second. Anyway, I'm going to do two seconds. Click apply. Yes. And now you notice it has changed it here. If we preview it, you'll see all of the changes have been made. So I should have my two second drawing a two second delay, two second drawing, two second delay, two second drawing, and so on and so forth. And finally, we have a few other small improvements and of course some bug fixes. I already mentioned this context menu in the right panel. So if you right click over here, you get the settings and then you can do all of these different things directly from there. In addition, let's say, let's go ahead and lock this character. If you go over here while it's locked, you can right click on the lock and unlock it directly from there. Likewise, I can right click and lock it from the panel itself. Let's lock another one. Let's lock this text. In all of these changes, I want to mention you know, the alignment, the erase and so on. They're for characters, props, text and whatnot. It's, you know, I might have used characters as my demonstration, but you can also do the same with the props and text. Now, duration of sound effects. Let's go ahead and put a sound effect here. And it's gonna be on my draw. In the past, you didn't have these durations here. Now you can tell exactly how long each effect is. 
So I might know that I have a 1.5 second duration on this. So maybe I want it to last 1.5 seconds. So I might try this boing because it's 1.5 seconds or a cartoon zip. Let's use that one because it, it matches my duration. Let's go ahead and take a quick little preview of that so we can hear it. So our guy's gonna draw on, our bug's gonna draw on, and then we have one and a half seconds. And there it is. The team also squashed some minor bugs and made some various subtle improvements throughout the app. On behalf of the entire team, we hope that you enjoy these new features and improvements. Happy doodling!